everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Annabelle where I talk about personal style and fashion commentary inspired by real life. If that sounds like your cup of tea, please comment, like and subscribe. Today's video is seven ways to wear a classic black skirt. Now that people are easing back going into the office or their places of work, I thought this would be a great opportunity to inject some life back into clothes that you may not have thought about and have laid dormant for a pretty long time at this point and you want to get excited about it again, what better item than a classic black skirt? So I'm using my Chanel skirt that I bought off eBay. It's a 1995 runway skirt. I never reach for it. I'm wearing said skirt here. So you can see it's like so inoffensive. I don't know why I don't wear it. Really big caveat and disclaimer that this is really dependent on the kind of job that you have and the workplace environment your commute, all of these things, adapt it as you need and as required. So this is Monday. It's an all black outfit, which I guess is a bit somber, but that's because it's Monday. This is like a very smart outfit, so if you were in a more traditional office world, this would be appropriate. This is actually quite sheer. This is a wool crew neck top from Cos. Tights, because we're in February, so all of these outfits will have tights. And then these suede boots that are from And All The Stories. I've got so much wear out of them, they're really great. So as I said, this top is sheer, so, well, semi-sheer, so if that was not appropriate, we didn't feel comfortable. Or if the weather was still chilly, I would pop a blazer on. It is actually quite sheer, or semi-sheer. This one is my <laughs> beloved vintage m and blazer, oversized, and this would keep me warm if there was aircon issues or temperature fluctuations, etc. I feel comfortable, smart, professional, and I would definitely wear this. I've never worn this outfit, but I really like it. So I think it would work in many situations. So next up is this outfit. Again, this is maybe a bit too sheer for some people, depending on your workplace. Wool fitted polo neck turtleneck from Cos. Cos and Arquette do, I think, great fitted wool tops in different colours. I find them really, really useful as like a layering piece. And then I swapped it for these court shoes or pumps. These are from Mariam Nasir Sade. I hope I said that right. I just refer to the brand as MNZ. They are such a cool brand. These shoes are just very, I think, office appropriate. Good heel height, classic almond toe. Leather, go with everything. Again, if you were cold or you didn't want to kind of be so revealing in your outfit. You could just pop on a blazer. So again, I'm gonna go with my M&S oversized one. And hey presto! So again, this is a bit more of a corporate, smart, formal outfit, but I would happily wear this not to work. And it's like a very preppy, chic vibe, which is very in right now, so that suits me just fine. So now we're gonna move on to the more kind of casual -er looks and spice things up a little bit. Well, Kind of, not really. I also want to add, it could be any kind of top really, but the upside of a black skirt is it will go with everything. So feel free to express yourself and use what you have. By no means do you have to follow my rules at all. This is a very basic, simple outfit. Wednesday, going into a bit more loose-fitting casual knitwear now. I am wearing a striped cashmere jumper. This is from Celine many years ago. I got it from Vista. Same bottom half, the pumps from MNZ or Mariam Nazizade. I feel really comfortable in this. I've never worn this outfit before, but I would definitely wear this. This, again, is a very preppy outfit, very safe classic. Not much to say about this outfit. So this is my Thursday outfit. I think it's a bit cosier, a little bit more relaxed. It kind of gives me old school secretary vibes. I don't know if that's offensive. This is a cropped fuzzy knit from And Other Stories. I use it a ton. I'm really glad I got it. I was actually influenced to buy this by Nori. I think her name's Nori on YouTube because I'm petite and on the shorter side cropped cardigans are just much better for my proportions. And because this skirt is high-waisted, it works really well. I have switched out the shoes for some strappy Mary Janes, and these are from Valentino. They are not the platform <laughs> mega heels that are out at the moment. These are like the very tame tango court version. I got these years ago. I don't wear these that much anymore, which is a real shame because they are really lovely shoes, really comfortable heel height. All of these outfits are very cute, very feminine, very girly, which I think is nice. Sometimes I like to lean into that aesthetic and that vibe. Normally for work I would wear trousers, but 
you know, it's good to mix things up. I'm wearing a v-neck cropped cardigan that's a bit on the fluffy chunky side. There are no rules around it, it's just to show you that a cardigan also works with a skirt. Nothing groundbreaking, but it made me realise how many things I could wear this with, what I already have in my wardrobe. I hope that it does the same for you, that you think, oh, like, I actually have pieces that would work really well together. I've never put them together before. Casual Friday, in my mind, I've gone for something super cosy and comfortable, an oversized knit and then chunky boots. Chunky knit, chunky boots. This is my <laughs> infamous Kate jumper that I got in the sale over Christmas. And then same with my Ganny boots, also got them over Christmas. This is a bit of an edgier outfit. If you work somewhere that's a bit more vibe, a bit more relaxed, you could make some changes so that this would work in a more formal workplace, just switch out these boots to maybe some smarter boots, not so oversized, not so chunky, to be extra comfy and cosy. Maybe you were hungover, maybe you're really cold, maybe you're not feeling very well, then I would pop my oversized jacket from Jack Moose. This is like extra comfy and casual on a Friday. Now you can't even see the skirt, but that's fine. <laughs> maybe this is what I would wear on the way to work so that I'm warm. On to the weekend outfits. Caveat, these are not necessarily work appropriate. This is if I was going out just to show myself and you guys that the skirt is versatile for all occasions. This is my Saturday look if I was going out for dinner or something a bit fun. I have switched into a colourful blouse. This is a silk blouse from Maison Clio. This piece is so stunning. It's dead stock material from a couture house. I cannot tell you how stunning this fabric is. Most people think it's a jacket when I wear it, but it is a blouse. It has a cute tie at the back as well, hopefully you can see that. I've gone fun blouse on top, again it's a bit cropped and high-waisted which suits the skirt and my proportions, and then I've gone all out with some chunky platforms because they are back with a vengeance and I'm so happy about it. Chunky platforms are amazing because you get the height of a stiletto or a heel, but they're very comfortable and so much easier to walk in so you're not dying by the end of the evening. So. I'm all about them. These are from Saint Laurent. These are their old school original ones. I love them so much. I wear them all the time. So comfortable. I'm so glad that they're back in fashion. I love how dramatic and theatrical it is with the colour and the sleeves. It's the talking point of the outfit really. You could have any colour for outfit, any top with a puff sleeve, any kind of dressy top will do. You know, you're just having fun with a black skirt. Your wardrobe is your oyster. Express yourself however you want. Last, but by no means least, Sunday. This is, again, another very cute girly outfit. This is the other top that I have from Maison Clear. It's nice that it matches the girly vibe of the skirt. I paired it with some mules from Giuseppe Zanotti. I love these mules. I don't wear them as much anymore. And some people may think it's a bit of a faux pas to wear a tight and then open to her shoes, but I mean, I've got bigger things to worry about. Most importantly, staying warm. I like these elements together because these mules make me think are very 90s. This skirt is literally from the 90s. I do get kind of waitress vibes. For some reason, when I think black and white, I just think hospitality. But that's okay. I think it's a cute outfit, like a chic waitress in a French cafe. I don't know, maybe I am going to a brunch or afternoon tea or something. That is my seven ways to wear a black skirt. If there was another piece of item that you would like some inspiration with or to challenge me with, please drop a comment below. Thank you so much for watching and spending some time with me. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.